Well, good evening, everybody, and welcome back to McNamara Stadium at John Field, the newly renovated McNamara Stadium at John Field, alongside Dick Frank and Jerry Rupp. I'm Nick Tucker with KDWA Radio. I know we're also being simulcast with uh, Hastings Community Television as well, so we welcome all of you along for the ride, no matter where you are in Raider Nation. We welcome you to the 2019 season, folks, and it's going to be a lot of fun. So much energy in the air, really from 5 a.m. this morning when WCCO and Hastings alum Katie Steiner was here doing a little breakfast at the stadium, breakfast on the ship. The ship is all decked out in its Hastings pirate flag and the prisoners of war flag, the USA flag, and we got some of the folks uh, sitting up there, too, and their students or parents that worked so hard to get it done, but I think all those parents, Jared, they all deserve to sit in that thing the first game for all the work they did. Yeah, they did a nice job with that thing. They really put a lot of work into it. It's pretty exciting to see that down at uh, right. West End. The field. Oh, here we go, Jerry. And fans, it's been a long time coming, almost two years since we knew that this was going to happen. The turf is in. We're now on the home side, and here is the kickoff from Evan Coffey. It's end over end, and it'll be taken. Oh, it'll take a bounce. It'll be taken there. Oh, bounce, and then picked up. McSorley in trouble from the 10. Breaks a tackle! 20, 25, 30 to, to the 40 yard line. One more! 50, he's gone! 40, 30, 20, 10! Raiders, are you kidding me? That's the way to open up the stadium. Yeah, baby. Open house. Open season. It's six nothing Raiders. That was. We talk about that a lot of times. We have a little bit of you know things that get kind of grouped up back there. You're not sure who's taking the ball, and all of a sudden the defense just takes a break for a split second. He finds a seam, had a couple of nice blocks, stayed on his feet. He had one man to beat, cut back inside, beat the, the uh, kicker as the safety. Had a little uh, welcome committee rolling down the field with them. Yes, can that's we, the way to open it. Can we go 90 yards on that? 88. 88 official. <laughs> wow. Oh, boy. Kickoff return TD. That's a fun way to start oh the season, folks. Oh, my goodness. Are you kidding me right now? Ellis Williams right in front of me, former Raider, just going, are you kidding me right now? No. That's how it goes. C.J. Brenny in all of his... Here. He's, he's got flowing. a lot of voice. Yeah, that, that, that makes me so jealous. I can't wait for the winter. I'm going to be able to compete He's with him. He's shoulders commercial. He needs to be. Wow. Snap spot? No. Someone moved on the Sibley line. No. Do you want to go for two here, maybe? If it's against Sibley? Well, you might as well. You know? Why not? Because you got a you know a nice score right there. Let's, let's open it up right away. First play of the game, the kickoff. Brought back for a touchdown. 88 yards by Devin McSorley at 6 nothing Raiders if you just turned this up. Waiting for the extra point. Offsides against Sibley. What do we want to do? Everybody looking over at them. See, let's just kick it. So let's just kick it. Kick it. Get in there on, in those nice Was NFL uprights. Yeah. yeah get her going here. CJ right up the middle. Extra point attempt. Snap. Good. Spot. Good. Kick. Yes. And just missed the new scoreboard for 7 0. Can't put a dent on the scoreboard just yet. No, no, that's what I'm saying. We just gotta, we gotta keep kicking it through the upright right there. We'll be just fine. So, Brenny, the extra point. And boy, he's gonna have a big year for the boys on the soccer team, too. They just, they played so well. 2 and 1 so far to start. Coach Swanson's squad really playing very, very well. The girls, I know the girls are up there listening right now. They went up to Duluth. For some games too so hi to all the raider girls soccer kids and coaches i know you're listening along and you want to be part of it too but hopefully that got you at least halfway back home and the voice maybe meeting you around about minneapolis or so but man was that fun just to see mcsorley and what he did this year like you said kind of created a little mental havoc on their side. Wait, what, what's he gonna do? What's he gonna do? And then the cutback, and then he's gone. Because the blocking set up perfect, nobody on the Hastings side panicked, and there we went. Well, yeah, yeah, a little bit of confusion too, because the up man thought to have the ball, and it carried a little bit farther than he thought, and he let it go to McSorley. McSorley wasn't quite sure. He had to go back and get it. Yeah. He had to come from the beer tube side toward us, and he almost got you know uh, horse collared there, but he got it past that one man, then got the, the one block that sprung him, and there he went. So Devin McSorley, the 88-yard kickoff return touchdown. So 
on the opening kickoff, McSorley to the house for 88. Brenny's kick true, and he's ready to boot it away. And the boot, and over end. This one will be taken at the 16-yard line. And a big hit there on special teams. Let's return one, and let's come out and bust some heads, Jer. I think that was a very good start special teams wise with Lucas Canole among others. Joe Nauer also in there, 33. Mason Martin also getting in there. Like Garrett Buying too was also in yep. on that one. We had a three really good short tacklers right there in Midland. Didn't even give the uh, returner a chance to get some open field. They were on him within two yards and that was very nice to see. Shot him down before they can get ahead of steam. Cam Latvis is the only returning quarterback with any numbers, and he will start here. He's also one of the captains. Where's the number 11? It is 7 0 early. Raiders have the lead on an 88 yard kickoff return touchdown. Lapis pulls down. He will run right up the middle on a quarterback draw design. He will gain three, maybe three and a half, four. And it's going to be second down for Henry Sibley. So kind of looks like that typical drop back passer, but then first snap to him, pulls it down and runs. So now it looks like we're going to get the, the, the plays too in from the sidelines. You're going to see a lot of running, I think, too, between the Henry Sibley sideline and the huddle. Well, it's a nice game for uh, Henry Sibley for that first play there, you know, three and a half yards, but you can't go to that every single time. Raiders get real smart on that one very quickly, and they'll shut that thing down. <coughs> 7-0, 11 minutes to go, just underway. New field, new turf, same tradition. Lapis out of the gun, he wanted the ball twice. He'll keep it now and he'll run back off right side. He can get somebody in there, Lapis across the 35, into the 40, he's in the open territory, 45. He missed the tackle and the Raiders are going to give it up themselves. Lapis goes the distance and he will score on a 72-yard touchdown run. Quarterback One number. keeper and Lapis Make it seven seconds. That's not exactly what the Raiders needed. I mean, I tell you what, that was a perfectly executed fake to the running back. Uh, half the Raiders bought that, including this guy up here. Uh, but, you know, that was a nice job selling that fake, and he just pulled the thing back and, and went cross direction against the Raiders over pursuit and got open space and uh, just a missed tackle. And, well, we might have a game here. We'll see. You know, that touchdown is two years in the coming for yeah. Henry Simba. Yeah, that's right. Attempting the extra point here for Henry Sibley is Mogelson. And it's through the uplights. And we're tied at seven. And like Jerry said, we have a ball game. I think the Raiders you know, got so excited with that opening kickoff return that they kind of maybe came out just a little bit flat. But uh, you know that they, that defense now is going to be hungry. They're not going to want to let that happen again. So they're going to come back here, I think, once they go back on defense and be much more prepared for Henry Sibley. Meantime, we get to see another kickoff return here, and it's huh. <laughs> it's so exciting. It's just, it's just crazy. You never know what's going to happen back there. And you know, it, a little bit more communication between the up back and the, and the deep back, and make sure you know they know who's taking the ball, and then just you know continue on with finishing the blocks like like they're taught. You know, off of the up guys and finishing out, and uh, we'll see if McSorley gets the ball again. You know, in the last couple of years, Sibley has featured more of a traditional style of offense, but here. We've seen two almost kind of optional plays here out yeah. of a shotgun, yeah. which is quite interesting and something that, you know, let's be frank, we're not very used to as Raiders seeing Henry Sibley run. So it's going to be an adjustment here early on to try to figure out how to stop Cam Latvis and Henry Sibley as they strike right back just moments later, just over a minute. It's got to be a little tough right now, too, be in the opening moments of the game here when the Raiders looking right into the sun. Sometimes it's a little tough to decipher who's got what because you have to look right into the sun. Oh, that's the cool thing I like about being on this side as a radio guy. We don't have the sun in our eyeballs this anymore true. on this is true. Friday nights. And we got our home fans right in front of us. And boy, when McSorley took off, there's a different feel, that, that roar when you're on this side, <laughs> when your guy's going to the house. And we got a crowd tonight. It was definitely a nice crowd out here. Kick off by Coffey, end over end again. Let's try to do it right. No, 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 no. McSorley will fumble the football, it's muffed. And it's picked up and he's gonna try it again. Up the middle to the 15, call the 17 yard line, didn't go as well here. 
think there's some things to straighten up here. <laughs> just grabbing the kickoff, a little early season just, uh, jitters here. Right. I just think that, that you know that's a tough look into that sun. They're they're struggling because that sun is at the angle right now where you look up that direction and you really can't see much. Yeah. And so I think it just he just lost it in, in the big old disc up there. And as I, you know, as the day goes on or as the evening goes on, you get a lot better. But, uh, tough yeah. right now. It's the one thing with turf you do get a little bit of reflection sometimes. Right. So it, like a sparkle almost. And you can see it when you look outside and you can kind of see that sparkle up off of the artificial turf. It is a bit different. Out of the shotgun, first play of the game for senior quarterback. Wagner, Dylan Wagner gives off there to McSorley who will get to the 20. So he will go to the coming up. Wagner, of course, very astute basketball player as well. Both of the guys the Raiders have in the first two quarterback slots are wonderful multi-sport athletes. And uh, along with uh, Colby Zach, of course, who was a four-sport varsity letter winner last year and he even had all-conference honors two times in the spring season for two different sports. Talk about a, an awesome athlete here for Hastings. Out of the shotgun, here's Wagner, Dylan Wagner, hands off. Here is McSorley, turns ahead, trying to move those legs. He'll gain maybe two more. So third and about six here for Hastings. 9.42 to go. We're in the first quarter. Teams have traded explosive plays. Raiders kind of fumbling, muffing the opening kick, but finding a seam after an over-pursuit there by Sibley. McSorley went 88, then Cam Latvis, the quarterback on the second offensive play of the game for Sibley. He took it up the right side, the distance. Both kicks true, and we are at 7-7. 9-19, clock runs, third and six officially. Raiders have the football, spotted at the 22 and a half yard line, back to pass. Here's Wanger, puts up a pass, caught by Kirkhoff, first down. Big, strong kid, good hands. We're gonna need him, especially running those sideline routes, Jerry. I mean, those are very important to the Raiders right there. That's exactly what we wanted on third down. Definitely, and that's that's the kind of throw where it's a very high percentage throw because either our guy gets it or the sideline gets it. There's no chance of getting picked off. He's like a third up. It's a nice extension there and great hands. I'll tell you what, he's not afraid to get up there and take a little punishment because he was stretched out. Raiders one of one on third down conversions, opening up the game first quarter, 9 0 to go. Hand off with Sully, fumble the football. 36. 36. 36. Levi French Amara recovers a fumble in Hastings territory. A lot of confusion there with the exchange. I think he didn't quite have the ball yet, and he got the first man hit him, and it just popped right out. That's one thing, obviously, we have to take care of the football here as the season progresses. You have to get some sure hands and, you know, don't put the ball on the ground. Yeah, that's not good. 27-yard line. Well, we'll see now the Raiders, after that initial uh, kind of uh, option fake there, that they're a little bit more in tune with that and they're going to be better prepared this time around. Ladvis out of the pistol. Running back to his right, left hash. Take the handoff, now look to run. Passing complete, sorry folks. Not really sure who he was throwing to on that one. He just kind of threw it to ground. Let's make him keep throwing the football. We know he can run. Let's see, I mean, right now, right. so far, passing the ball. I guess number nine, Connor Thal, was in the area, but uh, I mean, he looked like he was trying to, you know, down the, down the ball. He just didn't look like he was throwing to anybody in particular. Big play for the defense. I mean, first we got the first play last drive. Second play didn't go so well. We got the first play here. Let's make the second play not go so well for them. Sibley with the football. Raider 27, second and 10 out of the turnover. A fumble by McSorley, who also scored in the 88-yard kickoff return touchdown. Here's Latfus. He'll give up the middle this time, and it will be a running back, and he won't get much. It's going to be 33, Liam Joyce, the leading rusher from last year. He will turn ahead to gain a couple. He's more the bowling ball back. I think he's the guy that you're going to see get the tough yards. Any finesse yards are probably going to go to the QB Latfus. Definitely. Trevor Catholish was on that play right away. He wrapped him up, run away, and spun him around, and wasn't able, he wasn't able to get any yardage, you know, about a yard there. So it's a good job for the Raiders. Now they got a third and long for Henry Sibley, and it's a good position to be in. Ball spotted officially at the 26-yard line, according to the scoreboard 7-7 football game. First game of the 2019 season. First on turf, as everybody said here before the game. Mr. Trent Hansen out there guiding the troops beforehand, getting the crowd razzed up. Out of the shotgun lap, this Raiders jump. He barked it out. Now here's the thing too, Latvis cannot bob his head. 
If he bobs his head, that's actually against uh, the the Henry Sibley Warriors, and that, that was very close to maybe going yeah, the other way. That was questionable because he, yeah, not only did he clap, but he, he did bob his head yep. forward in a head, you know, body position, head position, and that's what two Raiders went for. Yep. You, you, you cannot do that. That is supposed to be a procedure penalty against the quarterback or the offensive team. So here's Lampus now, third down and five. He's got a man to join the party. Baldwin in the backfield, one of the seniors at 5-9. Claps out the, uh, the uh, snap that was actually snapped to the right side. Good tackle right in space, Will Johnson. After a minimal gain that will not make the first down, Adam Lale will be the pass receiver there, the sophomore tight end. He's 6'5", 210. But it's going to be a couple yards short. And I, you know, this early in the season, I don't know, are they going to try for the boot here? Looks like maybe they are. Nice tackle though by Will Johnson. I mean, that's the way you take down a big guy. You wrap him up around the knees. He can't run with his legs out of, uh, from underneath him. They're going for it here. They yes, are bringing Lapis back out. Can't say that I blame him. I would, I would think that's probably a good, uh, good call on their part deep in the Raiders territory. This spot would probably do it. High formation this time now. Maybe the up back getting something here. We'll have to see. Nope, give to the tailback. Hey. He's in deep trouble. They got him in the backfield. And the Raiders get the football back. Will Johnson again. He started the party and he got some help there as well from 53 Sammy Valentine. And the Raiders turn Sidley over by playing some great Hastings Raider team. I'll tell you what, our down linemen got some good penetration and pushed the offensive line of Henry Sidley back. So. Uh, uh, they had a, their, their running back, Jalen Baldwin, had a hard time getting around. His <laughs> lineman was basically laying on the ground. So he started the ball four, feet, four yards deep, and our Raiders just closed so quickly and shut him down. What are they measuring? No, they turned around first down. Good. I saw him over there, I'm thinking. Yeah, what are they doing now? What are they trying to measure? Sticks are going to the west. Yeah, they're going <laughs> towards the sunshine. Like Jerry said, too, that's going to be a little bit weird, but for a lot of the pass receivers on our side, you know, a lot of the the hooks and things like yeah. that, you won't have to maybe worry about True. That. Out of the gun, we're going to give off 30. again to McSorley, who gets outside, then is yep. horse collared. And that will likely give the Raiders 15 yards here. If that's a good call there. Got to be a horse collar. I don't think it was a hold. There's nobody really wow. out in front of him, No, that flag, that flag came out exactly when he got grabbed by the back of the shoulder pad. It's got to be a horse collar tackle right there. And if so, it's a first down. Uh, but Henry Sibley's clapping now. We'll see. Maybe a legal use of the hands. They're picking it up now. now they're still have a little powwow out there. And one of the Sibley players was kind of sitting down there. I'm not sure he's okay though. Raiders What's the deal? Raiders are backing up. Might yeah, be a hold. I mean, the one thing that I could have seen is McSorley had his hand Holding. up and kind of maybe got him Hastings. under. Hastings. They're calling it out. Wow, uh, there could have been offsetting penalties there because that definitely looked like a worse call. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's not a way to start your first down hmm. in this possession. Make it a little bit tougher. First and 20. Henry Sibley has some big boys in the interior line at 230, 240, and 260. That's a lot of meat to move around. They always have a physical they flight. They do. It just seems yeah, like it doesn't yeah. matter of the year either. And they're going to hand off up the middle. McSorley trying to move it up a little bit. Carries the pile for the two. Three, not even. Yeah, Nathan is it Ellen, Ellen Naney? Uh, 55 for Henry Sibley. He's, he's a pretty big boy. He's six feet, he's uh, 260 pounds. He's a big boy. <laughs> they got a pretty good mix. A lot of these guys are really under, but they got that size and that speed. You play the game, it doesn't matter. This is going to be a whistle and I think an official timeout here. I will say this though, you know, you get these big guys like that, sometimes by the end of the game they get worn down. You know, the, the bigger they are, sometimes they lose that, they don't have that conditioning and they get a little tired. McSorley had a chin strap issue, we'll fix that quick. Now we're back, ready to go. 6.07 to go, clock runs first quarter, tied at seven. Hastings and Henry Sibley in the opener. Wagner passes and then Tommy Rett can't hang on to it. That's one that. You know, we got to have, and that was kind of yep. Tommy's thing last year was just the inability to hang on to the ball. He's a big target, big hands. You know, we just, we got to get those passes to go. Yeah, was, he, he ran a nice route. He was kind of soft right between the two layers of coverage, and the ball was right there. I mean, he had to reach a little bit, but it was definitely a catchable ball. He probably should have had that one. Wagner coming back in with the play. Six minutes, one second to go. It's third and 19 here for Hastings. Not too many plays in the book here we can go to, but a first down would be awesome. 
Back to pass, Wagner, here comes the pressure. He better get rid of it, he doesn't either. And they're gonna be taken down right at the goal line. Not a safety, but boy, the Raiders are having issues offensively. It's 7-7 and the Raiders will be punting from the Walgreens parking lot. And that's a tough one. They're, they're, the interior line right now is trying to figure out a solution to those three big sides of beef at that interior line of Henry Sibley. Right now they're losing the battle. And it's hopefully they can kind of figure it out. Maybe some, just some double team you know, blocking here or there. You know, coach and staff kind of figure out something to, to defend those three guys. No, that are Ten yard loss. Kaflish, his heels are on the back of the end zone. The up back is Zach. Snap to Kaflish. He gets a kick away. That'll work enough anyway to give some breathing room to even our defense as we will have it go out of bounds at the rate of 35. So Kind of trying to you know, tilt field position a little bit, but that's not going to get the job done. We need another big defensive stop here, Jerry, with 5.08 to go first quarter in a 7-7 football game. You're right. The defense did a nice job in that last series. They shut him down when it was a very close, uh, what, like a third and one, third and two, and they, they, they did the job. Now, you know, they get a little bit of breathing room here with the ball in the 37-yard line, so you don't have to worry about your back against the goal line just yet, but they need a three and out. They get a three out, and like you said, start tilting the field down Hill towards the Henry Sibley side. Got to get some momentum back. Had a lot of it on the opening play of the game. Lapis out of the shotgun. He'll look to pass. Pressure comes. They set up a beautiful screen. They brought the house and they paid for it. Taken down at about the 22 yard line. The Raiders get that back there. Terrible. Did he steal that ball away? I think Hastings took that football back. They are along the sideline. And I think Hastings has his ball, you guys. I'm watching that official. I think it caught him by surprise. Yeah, this should be Raider football. It should be. Because the turbo rolled over with it. No, they're uh, not. Well, I guess that I think that official uh, kind of got caught sleeping there. He didn't see the play. 15 yards. Latvis a perfect screen. Yeah, that was Baldwin amazing. did fumble, but they're going to say it happened while he was on the ground somehow, and it looked like Torborg was there. Yeah. I do think he took it away from him on the way down, but now yeah. they've got to get ready for a new set here. Lampus out of the gun again, and he'll have the back to his left. One receiver left, three receivers out to the right side. Lampus, he'll run, and they'll slow him down right away, take him down behind the line. Good job there, team tackle there by Hastings. Got to keep guessing right here, because when we've guessed wrong, it hasn't gone right. We brought the house last time, the screen was set up beautifully that time. We got the host uh, coming as soon as Lampus looked like he was going to take off. Nice job by Charlton. He got in there right away and kind of disrupted the play before he got a chance to get rolling. So he kind of spun around Lampus and then the rest of our guys closed quickly and got over there and, and finished them off. Two-yard two loss is Manny Hill. Second down 12 now from the 24. The Raiders again into Hastings territory. Henry Sibley. Some of that has to do with our offensive inabilities early on. Left hash, Lathis out of the gun. There's a running back to his right. He'll look to pass on the slant, has a man, and that's caught at the 15. It's not going to be a first down. It'll be third and about two, two and a half. But another trip into the red zone here for Henry Sibley, which will bring up third down. And if they don't get it on third, a likely fourth down try again here. And so Henry Sibley in a couple chances here, and if things go their way, they could be in the lead here. Well, that's a nice play there too by Henry Sibley. They went to their, their big tight end, Adam Lawl. He's six foot five and obviously used every bit of it there. And uh, Torberg brought him down, but not before an eight-yard game. Third down, two to go. Three receivers right, one to the left side, spreading it out again. Here's Henry Sibley. Out of the shotgun, Lampus. He fakes the handoff. He's chased. He's in trouble. And he's going to be thrown down. He darn near fumbled the football. Boy, they just kept losing yards there. And that, that puts them way back out of uh, first down territory anyway. Anyway, now they can have a quarter and 10 now. They're not going to kick this, so they're going to have to go for it here on fourth down. And the Raider defense again. You know, you do your job, thing, good things are going to happen. That's assignment football. When they're running like an option, a, like a spread option, you've got to be assignment sure, and the Raiders were there too. No doubt. Jacob Wyken was in there, and he made just disrupted everything, blew that play up, and then, like you said, Lattis almost lost the ball on a, on a spin there. Almost lost his head too. There was about six Raiders there waiting to just knock him over and sideways. Fourth down, Lavis back to pass. Raiders now pursuit on the run as he rolls out. He's in deep trouble. Raiders there, he throws on the run. 
And there would have probably been an official grounding anyway. Going to turn over on Downs. Rangers to get it back. Another stop deep in Hastings territory. We've said it before under Coach Jones' defense for a long time. And, but don't break for what is it? This should be a hold anyway. This should be a hold. Yeah, this is a hold. Yeah, pick it up. Yeah, yep, there you go. A, it was a hold anyway. Raiders had three guys pursuing. Two from the side, one from behind. And the guy from behind was kind of being held back by the, you know, the, the, the belt loops of your pants. <laughs> And the referee, I think, did see that, but it didn't matter. Fourth down, Raiders take it back. So Hastings will start the drive on their own 28. A little more breathing room, which oh, is definitely. nice. It is, and you see some shadows starting to come over there on the visiting side of the field. That's a good place to go for maybe a couple option out throws there to just move the ball down the field. It was on a 21. A couple of quick, you know, eight, you know, seven, eight yard down and outs. Okay, that was an eight yard loss. Eight yard loss on the play. And now here is the oh, nice sell of the fake and a great screen and a pass complete for the Raiders to Izzy Arnold across midfield, plows a guy over, takes another one with him down to the 41 yard line. And we're not playing pinball at the arcade on a Thursday night. We're watching Izzy Arnold bounce off of everybody on the defense of Henry Sibley. Talk about a catch and a run in big R-U-N. Beautiful play. Got out there in the flats, no way around him. Nice, made a nice easy catch. And he put his nose down and knocked a few guys down. He said, I'm ready to play, how about you? Oh my goodness. Just physical. Yeah, he was. Little, that's what Pockle did last year on that tight end slot. And here's McSorley, rumbles ahead. He might have a first down, he is darn close. That's what we talked about in the opener. You, you get a pass like that, it makes the defense start spreading out because they know they have to defend the entire field, sideline to sideline. Pretty soon you can't put those big sides of beef right smack in the middle. It opens some things up. Foster pushes his man around, there's a hole. Make some noise, boys, it's time to do it. 7 7, 111 to go. We're in the first quarter. Here's the handoff given to McSorley, who will get the first down. And he's on the 30 yard line now. So they will move the chains. That is a gain of five. And like uh, Dalton DeBono out there got behind uh, McSorley, just gave him a little shuffle back and helped him out to get past that first down marker. And he's kind of a road grader as a, as a, oh. as a center. I mean, yeah. usually you don't see the big boys in the center, but. DeBono takes care of anybody who's playing nose. I mean, he you don't well, need a double team on many of the big guys because he's one himself. Exactly, and he's going to have to take care of those, those big guys in the interior line for Henry Sibley. There's some big fellas, but DeBono's done a nice job so far of just saying not up the middle. Get off left side. Here's McSorley to the 25. Carries a man down to the 21, 22 yard line. Getting a little traction, literally and figuratively, as they try to learn to run on this thing, too. Exactly. You know, and that, that, that left side of our line over there is starting to be able to hook and contain the Henry Sibley defense. Right. So we're getting that corner. And that's what you need. If you can you know, get that corner, maintain it, big plays will happen. Steal the edge, Jerry. You're exactly right. Rainer's going to try to do that, too. They got some bodies as they got one moving on a jet. Handoff, Will Johnson. Good setup, too. 20. Oh, missed the block. And he's taken down from the shoulder pads again that's another one of those dangerous tackles but boy did will johnson have guys ready to block just ran out of real estate yeah. nice effort offensively by the raiders again yeah it was a very nice play by him uh you know five yard gain you, you hate to believe this but uh our, our uh, near side official was kind of questionable on some of the calls but. End of the first quarter no uh seven seven your score raiders driving on kitty wa and hctv
chocolate milk. Eating after every game. Thank you, Coca Dot Dairy. It's a plenty of beans. End of the first quarter here on KDWA Radio in the Hastings Raiders football team after an opening 88-yard touchdown return by Devin McSorley. Cam Ladfus answered with a 72-yard run of his own on an option run, and it's 7-7. Back underway, second quarter. Here's an out pass quickly followed by Kirkhoff, and he falls ahead. He plowed his man over, too. Trying to drop the helmet there was Mogelson, and he got the worst of that one, Jerry. That's a nice first down grab. I tell you what, it's just so fun to watch Kirkhoff play because he made that sure-handed catch, and immediately he put his head down, and he was going to plow for extra yardage. That was a nice play. And a great first down play. You get seven yards on that first down. It just opens up the playbook to give you much more option. The Park Wolfpack are 0-0 in their game to open things up. I believe they got Mata Midai. Yes, they have Mata. That's a tough early season game for the pack. Out of the shotgun. Here is Wagner. He hands off up the middle. Nice little run there. Down to the 5-4-3 is McSorley. First down. And we're breathing down the necks of the end zone here and of the Henry Sibley Warriors. Well, you got nice blocks there by DeBono and Alex Foster. They just kind of opened up a hole there. McSorley took the left side of the line and did this a little quick cut back towards the middle there. Got the extra yard. Got first down. First down. Raiders in the first and goal from the three. Dylan Wagner leads the Raiders back out. Looking for a chance to retake the lead from the three. Here is the handoff again to McSorley. Left side, plenty of room, 5-4, 3-2-1. Touchdown, Raiders! And it's McSorley, his second of the game, first on the ground, and the Raiders lead it by a score of 13-7. He had a little committed out there with Easy Arnold leading the way for him, and it was a nice job because he was going to cut, cut back inside, and he saw that things were kind of bottled up, so he took a quick step to his left and to continue to go towards the corner of the end zone, and Easy Arnold in front of him. Easy stroll in there for six. Three yard run. Extra point attempt to the Ole, Ole, Ole. Might as well. You got your, one of your best soccer players out there to try the extra point. CJ Brenny kicking towards Walgreens. Snap, good. Spot, good. Kick. Got a hurry. He might have hooked it. He it's wide it left. He saw the pressure coming left, and that's where he kicked it. Kick fails. Okay, so it's 13 seconds. Well, it's nice to see the Raiders kind of got back on track there on offense because the first series, well, the first two series were really questionable, but I think just jitters too. You know, you got the first game of the year, you know, it's like oh, you're so excited to be out here in the new field and everything. You got jitters, and, and they did a nice job of calming down mm -hmm. and kind of getting things going here and just get back to the way they know how to play. Their offensive line, you got guys who know how to block. They just need to settle down and figure out how to handle those big guys from Henry Sibley, and they've done that right now, and they're doing a the job and opening up spots for McSorley. You got Kirkhoff making those great catches when he needs to. Things are clicking. Those first couple of drives were not any close to the significance we just saw the Raiders do right there. That was a different team. I mean, oh, that was it was, the, it was systematic. They knew what they were going to do before yep. they even took to the, the huddle. I mean, it was amazing to watch the boys play to play, not panic. Even that third down catch early in the drive to Kirkhoff. How big is that now? Yeah, That's huge. what continued to drive, just the non-panic to say, let's go out there. Let's play the game. Mm -hmm. So getting ready here to kick things off. CJ Brennan will boot it away. He didn't miss much of anything last year. So we'll get that out of the system now. 13-7, though, Raiders do lead. 10-43 to go first half, second quarter. Get up there, Jerry Rupp. Dick Rangel and stats at halftime in the postgame show as well. There's the end over end kick taken at the six. And an end around. They're going to get the other way to number two. That's Strohoffer. And he will be strung out the left side. And he might not even get to the 15, Joel. Maybe not the thing that they wanted to do there. They're going to be down deep. And they're going to be able to smell the beer stew here, I can tell you that much. Uh, I'll tell you what, you got to give credit to two different aspects of that play right there. Number one, you give credit to the special teams coaches who have harped and harped on these guys. And also give special credit to the team itself. Stay in your lanes. You are told that ad nauseum. Stay in your lane. Don't chase the play. Go where you're supposed to be. Things will come to you. And it's exactly what they did. They didn't panic. They didn't kind of reverse. Stayed in their lanes. Shut them down at the 15-yard line. 
Watts get a big defensive play here. We've seen a couple of times the Raiders trying to wrangle that ball away. Lapis out of the gun. Man in motion to the near side. They will hand off up the middle. A little trap play out to the 20 yard line. Boy, oh, that was a heck of a hole there, too. I was going to say, in mean, the way I mean, his legs were moving, Jared, that could have turned into a big run fast, but Joyce ends up getting a couple. Yeah, exactly. I mean, from our angle right here, I mean, seriously, you could have driven a, a Ford F 150 through that hole. It was big. But then the boys closed down on that second, that second layer. They shut him down. So, five yard gain could have been a lot worse. Approaching 10 minutes to go here. We'll go under 10 with this play. Second corner, first half, 13-7 Raiders. McSorley, two touchdowns tonight. Latvis, the other, and a 72-yard quarterback blast. Let's give up the middle. And Joyce will run into half of the Raider team. He is not going very far. No, they tried that same play on the other side. Nothing doing. The Raiders shut that one down. The if Coach Kevin Hagel, he may have been here, but if he was listening, maybe Coach Matt Smith of Prescott, the, the, one, the one thing that I can tell about Henry Sibley is they run a similar offense to what Barron ran. Prescott played Barron every year early in the year, sure. and they'd run a spread option. They'd always have a dangerous kid that might have not even been a, quote, quarterback, almost like the best athlete, might have been a little guy, mm -hmm. but they would utilize that and throw once in a while, but they spread you out, and if you figured that spread out, that's it. I mean, yeah. you figure the spread, there's no way they can get anything going, and then you take the game over. And that's how Prescott always yeah, seemed to beat good. Barron. A sure. little bit of a slow start, figure out how and where they're running the football, take those lanes away, stop them, and then let the offense take over. Yep. Very similar. And even the colors are kind of similar to Barron. They place the red with some gold. Back to pass again. Here is Lapis. He'll throw. He's got a man, and it's going to be caught for the first down. You pass when you have to. Right there is a have to. And on third down, they convert. And that pass caught by 84. That's Jackson Opitz. 5'9", 160, a great route run. And a first down for Henry Sibley. Raiders would have loved to stop him. Yeah, they would have, but that was a perfect run. I mean, the, the pattern you said, you know, he, he got the distance. He knew where he had to go as far as first down marker. He made that cut to the outside. Kind of a good timing pattern. I'm sure they've done it you know, a few times in, in the uh, practice times for those guys. But... Great play for them. Raiders get you know reset here now. Start the defense get going here at the 33 yard line. The Raider D, other than the one play by Ladfus where he went nuts, they found places to slow him down. Quick pass over the middle. Did he catch that? Did he give it <laughs> yes, he did. Are you kidding? Me? No, they're gonna say. I say no way. I'm like, th that has to have new no. new new turf all over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Well, what's going on here? Okay, I'll just say that. Look like yep, he's, we'll just say incomplete. We'll take it. looked it. like he was ready to step off some yards. Like, I don't see any laundry out there. <laughs> don't give him anything. Yeah. We, well, we don't, we don't yeah. need any of that. I'll tell you what, though, and, 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 you know, we talked about earlier how, you know, at six foot five, he's a huge target. Six foot five is not good when the ball's down at your ankles. You're going to miss that nine out of ten times. That was a quick, quick, quick slant. Yep. And down along the turf. Out of the shotgun, Lampus has a running back to his right. Quick pass left side, and he caught it on his knees. And hey, give it to Henry Simmons' receivers. They've had to make some extremely tough catches to keep a lot of drives going early on. No, you're right. Uh, you know, Trey Carl Strohoffer there made, a, made that catch on his knees. He kind of came back for a ball. Not been the greatest ball by uh, Latvis, but you know, he's getting the job done. Here's where we really, okay, you get the touchdown. It's 13-7 but now you have them deep in their own zone. We want to flip that field position that we are exactly. talking about, Jer. A stop here, force fourth down, make them punt here. That's right. Defense ready. The crowd getting into it. Out of the shotgun, Lapis. He has a running back to his right, trying to set an audible as he looks off right side, tap the helmet. Two to the left, two to the right, left hash mark. Back to pass, Lapis, he has room to run. Raiders chasing him. He's trying to get the first down himself, and he will get it. Taken down by Johnson, but not after a gain of eight yards right in front of the Hastings bench. And he moves the chains again. You have a dangerous running back who can run and pass. You got to respect them both. And that time, Latvis was able to beat the Raiders. I tell you what, I was kind of impressed with Latvis because when his, his long lumber down the field for the first touchdown, he didn't look overly fast to me. He looked like he's stumbling, bumbling like a Steve Young out there, but he got the Ooh. corner this time. He got hit too. He he just went down, kind of a, you know, kind of bending his back over a little bit. He got tagged pretty good there uh, by Will Johnson at the yep. very end of that play. A legal hit. He was yep. in bounds, but he tagged him pretty good. 
We're going to say that a few times with number 10 this year. The way he defends on the corner, but he can also really hit. Rodgers and Moorhead are 7-7, seven, seven, Dickie. Yeah. There you go. Out to the left side, caught. That's going to be caught there by Sanchez. Shakes a man, makes another man miss, gets out of the tackle there, and will fall ahead for eight. That's a heck of a run after the catch there. That's all earned by Anthony Sanchez. And, and also credit to Henry Sibley, uh, other receiver who was out there blocking. He was blocking, blocking, blocking. He wasn't giving up. He didn't just hit and turn around and enjoy the show. He did his job too, which allowed their receiver to uh, get that extra yardage after the catch. Second down, two yards, past the midfield strike. About the 45. Raiders come out, three down linemen, two linebackers, kind of showing that they're going to blitz here, then back off a little bit. Gladfist claps his hands, gets the snap, another little pass over the middle, and boy, did the receiver Sanchez hear footsteps all over, blue and gold ones at that. And we almost saw a big hit from either Danny Brown or also Trevor Kaflish was in the neck of the woods that he probably didn't want to have the uh, Sibley player be because he probably would be still laying down on the turf. I think so. He didn't want any Oof. of that. Well, and the ball was thrown slightly behind him, too. <laughs> it I mean, just hurt because the oh, ball would have been behind him. His whole body would have been smoked. open. And, oh, yep. no. Yep. Oh, oh boy. Thing, drop that one. Yeah. And again, yep. you know, Lathis just really isn't really on target, but his receivers are doing a heck of a job oh. to make him look good. They're yeah. making him really stay in the game, for yeah. lack of better terms here. Onto the shotgun, third and two. Lathis, he wants it. He keeps clapping, clapping, finally gets the snap to him. Pass right side, overthrow. This is an interesting spot now because we have fourth down and two, and it looks like they're going to come in with special teams. So the Raiders may have just forced the punt. Yeah, let's get that football, make some noise here. 6.40, uh, 6.50 to go Number here in the second us. quarter. Call it first half on a beautiful Thursday night like at Town Field. You know, in a situation here, you know, you don't have a ball control, just grind it out down the field offense. At the 45-yard line, that's just too risky to give, you know, the team only half a field to go for a touchdown. So better to pin them back deep. And, and get him, you know, have him go 80, 90 yards. Raiders got a couple guys back. Will Johnson is one of them. I think Tom Ritz the other. Oh, bobbled the snap, and the kick will still come away to Will Johnson this time. It'll come to your side. 20, 25, step back, step in, 30, 35, 37, thrown out of bounds. Beautiful return. Good field position, Jared. This is what we talked about. Let's reestablish ourselves at the field position. Let's win that battle, and let's continue to build some long drives that result in points. Exactly. That's the way, you know, Will Johnson did a nice job coming up to his left. Did a little stutter step, a little juke in and out, you know, and left the guy kind of stand there going, wait a minute, where'd you go? And use his speed and, you know, utilize that for another 10 yards. Great return, and that's good position now. You look at the Raiders, you know, they... they Henry said he punted from the 45. The ball's in the 38, so they gained, what, six yards? Yep. Eight, seven yards. Yeah, it didn't turn out to be much of anything. Nothing. Out of the shotgun. Now Colby Zach in the game is quarterback. Zach will give off now to Nauer, I believe. No, actually, that's going to be Josh Anderson, who really ran the ball in relief well last season. And he's going to get a big gain of about eight. So we switch it up. Zach in at quarterback. And now we see Josh Anderson running the football. That shows so much faith in what we have. We've got guys that can play numerous roles in different spots. Exactly. Josh Anderson, I kind of like he had that ball wrapped up with both hands. Boy, he was not going to, you know, surrender that thing. He was chugging away. Diminutive, but has the shake. If he gets in the open field, he's not going to be caught. Here's a snap to Zach, who gives up the middle. And look at that little guy. Josh, I had a Dan Anderson across midfield. First down, game of seven, move the chains. Oh, man. I mean, what do you compare him to I mean, Vanderbosch? Maybe kind of back in the day. Yeah, 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 yeah that's what I was saying. Vanderbosch. Very yeah. similar body type. A Danny Gilly, maybe? You yep. know, a Danny True. Gilly, yep. perhaps? Yep. Very similar in, in, in body, but they have the same wiggle as those two aforementioned former Raiders. What well, I liked out there, too, is that Sam Valentine and Cole Hart mm -hmm. stood their guys up so Anderson could screw underneath them. They have been so good against those big boys so far. Knock on wood. Man in motion now. Thank the Jack. He'll go himself. Colby, if he gets into space, you're not going to catch him either. He goes up the middle. He gains nearly a first down. That's the thing. With Colby, he can really run it. I mean, like we said, he was a two-sport all-conference athlete in the spring. Once in track and the other in tennis. And he just showed some of that track star speed just sprinting up on a quarterback draw. And, and what you had there is you had Izzy Arnold and, and Kirkhoff, Jackson Kirkhoff, were leading the way. So he just kind of got on there. Their, their, their bell loop and kind of rode them a little ways and got that extra eight yards. Ring the bell, boys. Let's keep going. 
Zach out of the shotgun, called the pistol. Two receivers out to the right, one to the left. Tight end left is Izzy Arnold. Snap given to Anderson, who throws it. Yet he carried a 280-pound man on his back for four yards up the right side and another first down. Toughness with a capital T, Jerry. Remember back in the little days when you played kill the carrier? Oh yeah. If you got low, they can't tackle you. You can put four or five guys in your back. Just hop on, guys. Let's go. That's what he did. Unbelievable run by the little fella. And I don't want to call him little. You're not just. You, I mean, look at him. And he's every bit of pounds that he has on his body. I'll tell you that. All 151. On the pass, here's Zach on the run. Finds a man. Are you kidding me? Is he Arnold? Gets the hands up. I mean, what a great grab by a kid that's going to mean so much to so many sports here throughout the school year. Yeah, yeah. Izzy did a nice job. And again, you know, that's part of a receiver's job is to figure out where that zone coverage is and to try to sit down in between it. He ran a route that was perfect. He was between the deep man and the up man, found his little, little seam in there, but he had to go up and rate, make a great catch and, and nice job hanging on the ball and getting that first down. Nice rollout by Colby to a good sell. Man in motion comes to the near side. Now we're they'll give on the jet this time. Good block too! Now we're cuts back ahead 2015. He will gain a handful of yards, but how about little Josh Anderson saying, I may weigh 151, but I'm going to block you like I'm 251. Exactly. Yep, nice job. He, he plays much bigger than his numbers indicate on the stat sheet here. Timeout, Henry Sibley. We'll take a quick one. 13 7 Raiders on KDWA. <laughs> Live on Kitty WH. Uh, 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 sorry. Let me start over. Josh Anderson with a gain of three. He'll get it down to about third and one. And again, that little, that first little jitterbug step. I mean, he's got those big boys up front going, hey, where did he go? He, what, what, grease lightning here or what? Exactly. Two receivers right, one left. That's Tommy one on one. Rip out.